In the Hall of the Mountain King is a piece written by Grieg in 1875, and it is a very famous piece. And apparently, nothing is sacred because this is one of many pieces that has been turned into a piano black key piece. And as it has been asked several times in my comments for me to react to it, then that is exactly what I'm going to do. If there is anything else you want me to react to, let me know in the comments. Let's get into it. That's the first time I've seen the volume change as it's playing. So far, so easy. Okay, now we're in the realm of needing two people to do that because one person's got to go while the other person's going. Whatever the chords are. You can hear this getting faster and faster as well. I feel like it's going to go pretty crazy. Okay, that top part's just arpeggios. I still think two people could probably do that. One person doing this. While the other person's doing the... Okay, we're definitely in a three-person zone here. The yellow, the pink, and the blue part are probably doing the same thing, but sort of three octaves at the same time of chords. Whatever the chords are. I've just noticed that the chords are going... Why have all these pieces got to be impossible for your wrists? Okay, hang on, hang on. Is that good enough? We're not even halfway through yet and this is already making me dizzy. Okay, I appreciate going back to something that's possible for one person. Well, that didn't last very long, did it? Gosh. Hang on, right, so the two outside purple bits are just doing... But then you've got the green bits in the middle that are just going... And it still manages to sound okay. be interesting is hearing like an orchestra play each individual key if you have like double basses cellos violas violins responsible for sort of each part or each note and then they can concentrate on that i wonder what it would sound like in an orchestral situation because it was originally written for orchestra <laughs> I feel like this can't get any more insane, but I somehow feel like they're going to try and make it. We've had a key change. That's always a good way of making things ramp up. Let's see if I can do this. That's not completely impossible, but very difficult. I mean, it is impossible, but it would be easy to write a playable version of this section. I 
I just knew that was coming. It's like when you're driving and it goes up a gear, you can just feel it coming. <laughs> Another key change, no matter what music you're playing, a good key change always ramps up the energy. It's amazing how with all the patterns and stuff that they're obviously trying to create, using the piano, they still manage to maintain that melody. It might be because they've just made the volume much louder than everything else. <laughs> Well, that was pretty intense. It's amazing how they managed to kind of build up the energy throughout the entire thing, even though they're kind of already playing most of the notes at the very start. Another black key piece that is pretty intense is Rushy 2. And in this video, I react to that. So if you're interested in that, head on through and I will see you there.